we live in a really weird city with lots of weird, cool people. And I'm about to show you why our beer scene is also really weird. So uh, first stop today is Parlo Beer Lab in the Bywater. Uh, probably one of the funkiest neighbors in America. Cheers. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, action! Let's <laughs> got their beers at Parlo Beer Lab. This one here is a tequila aged Kolsch. You never see these. 7.2%. This is a Pinot Noir aged Saison with uh, Asian boysenberry. Wow. They sell these in, they're so good. They sell these in 750 milliliter bottles. If you like wine, but don't like beer, you need to try this because you're going to like beer after this. And this is the uh, double dry hop foggy glasses. This is their first interpretation of a hazy IPA uh, for their two-year anniversary. They double dry hopped it, and this is everything you want in a classic hazy IPA. It's got a lot of citrus notes in it. It's very smooth. It's not hot at all. It tastes, it tastes like it's supposed to be tasting. It's delicious. I'm rolling over here with the Sunshine Dreams. No, Sunshiny, sunshiny Dreams. Barrel-aged sour with Satsuma and Tangerines. Well, right now it's not sunny, but I brought the sunshiny daydreams over here with Harlow's Barrel Age Satsuma and Tangerine. It is delicious sour I got going on, puckering in my lips. Trades and the master of only some. Um, as far as breweries go, we tend to put a lot of weird ingredients in a lot of our stuff. Um, I think we're the only brewery that's used fenugreek seeds. It's really weird. It's usually used in uh, a lot of Indian, Indian cuisine, so we put that in some of our barrel aged beers. Uh, we've done oyster mushrooms, um, kind of following along with Jester King. One of our newest beers that's getting ready to come out would be a blonde stout made with over 400 moon pies. 400 moon pies! <laughs> yeah, uh, each beer is actually going to be about 60 calories and more <laughs> because of the moon pie. You basically, wear that bikini and drink yourself a moon pie. It's going to rock it. It's going to rock it. Five weirdest beer names. I'll go first. My tart will go on. The Albino Linguini. Head, shoulders, knee, toes. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Pomeranian Fight Club. Pretty sure this is brewery three, and we've had 25 ounces of beer, and we're already feeling it. So not real sure. 25. Not All right, guys, we've just made it to Urban Stop Brewery. These guys are the largest brewery in New Orleans. They've only been open for a little more than three years, and they're already producing more than 15,000 barrels of beer a year. IPA is one of their flagship IPAs. Super delicious, super juicy, much like an East Coast. Very hazy. Um, they just had their dad's IPA come out with a hit. We're doing a new beer with Little Brew Bus called Pills on the Bus. It's going to be a blood orange hazy IPA. Clocking in at about 6%. We've already tasted it. It's delicious. If you love the hazy East Coast goodness, you've got to come to Urban South in New Orleans. They are all about the hazy IPA. This is the 
uh, fourth brewery of the day. I'm losing count now already. Uh, Vanilla Brewing are the OG brewers in New Orleans. They've been around for 10 years. They just had their 10th anniversary. They're the craft beer pioneers. First brewery opened after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Also, their sour program is elite. If you've ever been to uh, Cricket Stave in, in uh, Denver, or if you've ever been to Cascade in Portland, those sours are elite as well. Nola has been brewing sours for the year, but cool. They've made more than 150 sours for the last four years. But if you like your sours aggressive, where they really like to bite the back of your cheek sour, I'm talking like put a wart head in your mouth sour, Nola's a place for you. One of the most weird beers in the city is the Bowl Advisory, where they actually add crab oil seasoning into the fermenter. It smells just like a Louisiana crawfish bowl, but tastes like a great tasting, easy drinking ale. If you love crawfish and you love beer, this is the weird beer for you to get. This is also the space where they do their warehouse and live events. So this place fits about 800 to 1,000 people total. So you're talking about a legit festival type atmosphere in this brewery. They also do a, uh, a festival every May. It's a crawfish and beer festival and it really brings in huge crowds. It's in between our Jazz Fest weekends. So really, if you're looking for some awesome live music and you're coming in for Jazz Fest, Little Brewing is one of the top places to go in the entire city. Much less the fact that they're making phenomenal beer. So, we're headed to our fifth brewery, and Matt's a little sober. Open the eyes! <laughs> Miel opened up October 2018. They've been open business for a few months now. I've been killing it. The head brewer, Alex, is the Cicerone certified, which is like the highest level of beer certification you can get. Basically a PhD in beer. So every beer they've made is amazing. So let's go check out Miel Brewing. Alright guys, we're at Miel Brewery, one of the newest, hottest breweries in New Orleans. Alex is the Cicerone certified head brewer, one of the co-owners of this fiance, Janice. Everything you see is from Janice, everything you taste is from Alex. They make beers that are so weird, you would not think they would even work, but when you try it, absolutely delicious. For example, these guys have made several candy beers. They actually had 10 to 15 pounds of classic 90s candy that we're all used to loving. For example, the AK-41 which was 10 pounds of Airheads. Alvin Kamara is the Saints' favorite player. His candy of choice, beautiful cream ale. They also made a Candy Jack, which is 15 pounds of Sour Jack watermelon candies. Also beautiful. Uh, they've made a little niche in making these weird beers that nobody else is doing, and they're just coming out phenomenal. All right, my favorite part about beer making, adding hops. Mill Brewery knows how to make a badass IPA as well. They started a series called their Plant Series. So they made three hazy New England IPAs already so far, the Calathea, the Monstera, and also the Ficus. All three have come out beautiful. Uh, they made a triple IPA, a couple of single IPAs, but all the magic happens right here. So between their, their sour beers, their Gozas, their IPAs, their Hefeweizens, their candy beers, they all brews a beer for everybody in the world. How are you doing? the hiccups. This is Port Orleans Brewing, uh, Zach Street, former Saints player for 11 years, and we're about to go drink some fantastic beers. They, uh, Drew Brees actually had his 40th birthday party here, 
Very high-end brewery, probably the Cadillac of breweries as far as the tap rooms are concerned. This guy specializes in a light lager or ale, so if you like your beers light and pilsners, this is the spot for you. They actually use horizontal fermenters to ferment their lagers, so they're very delicious. Um, also, my, one of my favorite beers is the Gleason IPA. It's 5.5% alcohol content, but it's everything you want in an AZ IPA, so let's go drink some nice ones. The raspberry black water is legit. This is kind of It's actually really good. This is raspberry brown ale. They put real raspberries in the fermenter. Really nice live drinking beer. Sweet an IPA. Oh yeah. Mm. Drink this all day.